Yo, yo, yo! It's your boy Dino Stan, and today we're doing things kind of different. I decided to play Game of Thrones mod CK2 multiplayer with some homies, and things kind of things kind of got bad. Long story short, everyone betrayed everyone. I don't trust anyone anymore. I have issues, but. It was a good time. It was a good time. We decided to do the Clash of Kings start day, and almost every uh, major house was a player. Of course, I was uh, Stannis the Manus. You know, everyone loves him. He's everyone's favorite character. I mean, look at him. Can you hate the guy? I just want to pinch his little cheeks. So first off, I got an alliance with the Tyrells. They just decided, you know, fuck it. We like Stannis the Manus, and uh, the Dornishmen. They said, you, you kind of cool. So yeah, I had the support of the Bad Pussy Patrol and uh, the Flower Guys. But uh, I couldn't wait for them to organize their armies. I had to act fast if I wanted to win. The Greyjoys had decided to team up with the Starks who already had the Riverlands uh, on their side. Stannis Baratheon was outnumbered and he needed to act fast. My goal was to rush King's Landing as fast as I could. I gotta blitz the capital. And then, if I capture the capital, the Lannisters would be like, Alright, we're losing, and they'd side with me. So like that, I rushed King's Landing, and I managed to capture Joffrey and literally everyone in there. Sadly though, the Joffrey player game ended when I captured him. I was trying to be nice to him, but I couldn't. The game said, no! But I let Joffrey go, because he's a Chad, and everyone loves him. Real fans, we all respect the Joffmeister. But of course, Stannis is above him, we all know, we all know. The Lannisters were backed into a corner after I took King's Landing, but I decided to be merciful. You see, the Starks had released Jaime Lannister and returned for Sansa Stark, so Jaime Lannister was in the court when I sieged King's Landing. I also had Tyrion and Cersei in jail as well, so, you know, I let Jaime go, it was a sign of good faith. I was in call with the Lannister character, he was like, alright, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. But then the Greyjoy character came into the call and they both left together. I could only assume the worst. Before I knew it, the Greyjoys had owned Lannisport, and I had thought they had joined together, so I murdered his children I had. What I didn't know is the Greyjoys had declared war on the Lannisters, and uh, he sent him a, a troll peace deal, and the Lannisters accepted it, but they didn't know that they were getting full annexed. Kinda funny. The Greyjoys had tricked me into murdering all the Lannisters. It wasn't my fault, it was theirs. Come on bro, how was I to know? How was I to know? Then Robb Stark sent me an offer for a white piece where he stays king of the north, I stay king of, uh, you know, the south. Wasn't gonna let that happen. Rob Stark, he betrayed the wishes of his own father. So how could I trust him, you know? Ned Stark, his dad, recognized me, Stannis the man, as the true heir, the true king. So, how to make him understand. As my troops marched up through the Riverlands, I got a, I got a report. The Riverlands character, he came into my call. He was all like, Dino, Dino, check this out, watch this shit. And then he joined my side in the war. Which was a big deal because I was outnumbered and him joining with me made us about equal. Never have the Starks been more blackpilled, I swear. Well, I, I guess I could think of other times, but uh... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Riverlands were under siege. Edmure Tully stuck his neck out on the line for me, Stannis Baratheon, so it was only right I hustled my ass up there. The Starks were killing the Tullys. Fish guts everywhere, we had to get up there. They were just getting slaughtered. While the Starks were on a warpath, we finally made it to River Run. This was a dangerous spot to be in because we were surrounded up here. We had the Arryns to the right, we had the Starks to the top, and to our left, you know, we had the Greyjoys. Yeah, to the top. Yeah, that, that's a that, that's a cool phrase. We were hella outnumbered, but luckily their armies were split up, so our armies combined, we managed to actually get a victory on Rob Stark. At this point, the Starks were on the run. One good breakthrough, and they'd, uh, they'd have superior numbers. They would reunite with the Greyjoys. But alas, that did not happen. The betrayal of the Tullys crushed the chances the Starks ever had of having a swift victory. The Tullys split up their armies, which made it where they could never reunite with each other without dealing with the Tullys first. A very devilish betrayal. But now, the biggest fight is upon us. The Lannisters have finally made it. And not far behind them are the Greyjoys. We managed to pick a fight with the Lannisters really fast. The plan was to rout them so uh, when, we, when we battled the Greyjoys, they wouldn't have the Lannisters with them. It didn't work out well because the Greyjoys, they made it. Now the biggest battle of the whole war was taking place. It's a back and forth battle, but eventually Stannis Baratheon prevails. The Tullys, the Tyrells, the Dornishmen, and the Baratheons can all cheer. For the rest of the war, they're winning. 
they are winners. Unless somehow they fuck it all up. The Greyjoys decided to fuck off. They were out of there. They had more Lannisters to kill or something. I don't know. I didn't really care. I had to get to my capital because the Veilmen, they were laying siege. Luckily, the Dornishmen were there to beat them up. Get out of here. Rob Stark, you know, he's blackpilled right now. He sent me a white piece. But I have him on the run right now, so I said no! We had one final battle, and... Yeah, the writing was on the wall. The Starks, black-pilled as ever, they said, fuck it, we surrender. And me, being humble, I said, okay, sure. Rob surrendered under the condition that I gave him royal privileges. The same privileges the Dornishmen enjoy. The realm was at an uneasy peace. The Starks and the Tullys, they were nagging. They were nagging at me. They wouldn't stop nagging. They were like, oh, boo-hoo. They are yelling at each other. And all I was like, oh, I wish I could unlance you both. Just kidding. It's driving me insane. The Starks were like, I surrendered. You gotta let me kill the Tullys. Give me this much. And the Tullys are, whoa. Uh, Stannis, we, we betrayed the Starks so you could win. You wouldn't be king without our betrayal. I really did feel like a sitcom dad. That's what it felt like. But I had two bickering kids and no hot wife, so... What did, what did I gain from it? I get nothing out of the deal. Because Ned Stark was such a cool guy, we all love him, I decided to raise his son. No, he's not a hostage. Bran Stark lives with me because I respect his father. Now, okay, okay, I know this is cute and all, but something dastardly is about to happen. Euron Greyjoy had decided, you know, Theon Greyjoy, he can rule over the Westerlands. The Lannisters, as you might have guessed, were kind of pissed off about this. Kevin Lannister launched a rebellion that ended up getting most of his family killed. The Greyjoys, they killed most of the Lannisters, even Lancel Lannister. It was too graphic. I had to, I had to step in. I couldn't just sit there and watch them die. I declared war to return them to us. I rallied the troops and we head off. The Greyjoys had to be contained. Battling was kind of fierce, but... We won. And after two wars, the Lannisters were finally restored to uh, their rightful throne or something. My vassals also asked if I could uh, allow slavery. So I said, sure, why not? Why not? My evil wife, because yes, I was married to Marjorie Tyrell. It was a political thing. Come on, it was political. But she is kind of bad though. Well, Marjorie and her father, they uh... They were up to no good. Mace Tyrell said I should legalize slavery, and so I did. I legalized it. This is important because uh, after I got done fighting the Greyjoys and executing Theon for being a bad guy, I, uh, I was kidnapped. Mace Tyrell snuck into my bedroom and he fucking kidnapped me. His goal was to sell me into slavery. He couldn't do it, so he said fuck it, and then he killed me. He then made this animation. No, don't execute me. You're going to be executed. <laughs> After the death of Stannis Baratheon, Shireen Baratheon took the throne and Mace Tyrell started a war for emancipation. During the violent civil war, the Starks declared war on the Tullys and the Tullys murdered almost every Stark but they lost the war. With the combined might of the Baratheons and the Dornishmen, we beat the Tyrells, and Doran Martell, he kidnapped Mace Tyrell and sold him into slavery. And now he spends the rest of his days far away from me. Thank God. Brothers, oh brothers, my days here are done. The Dornishmen's taken my life. But what does it matter for all men must die? And I've tasted the Dornishman's wife.